Hi, my name is Jennifer and I help people to remember who they are. Um, I've had a lot of shitty jobs in my life and one of those in particular that was a favorite of the shitty jobs was selling men's shoes wear, men's, <sighs> selling men's shoes from a sportsman's warehouse in Medford, Oregon. That's one of my favorite jobs because shoes are foundational and it taught me a lot and taught me to love Keens and the best tennis shoes. And um, yeah, I, I love doing that. Even walking around with the fella, help, like I need to find, I need to find camo that burrs won't stick to. So he brought his burrs in, I told him to. And he brought the stuff back and everything. But the thing was, it was, it was an adventure and it taught me a lot. And I really worked a lot in retail, but never, followed my own passion before and never thought that I would be thinking about coaching people. But I think that I have set myself up in a pretty decent situation to do that in spite of everything else. I mean, outside circumstances don't really mean shit. You just have to believe in yourself. So I'm going to talk about something that um, I did today and riff a little bit, just kind of letting it flow. Um, so I think you want to stick around. I'm going to uh, insert music randomly in there. So you have to stick around for that. It's going down, be the black, make the homies got up, we go up black. It's going down, be the black, make the homies got up, we collab creation, bump like acne, no doubt. And then down in the clouds, as long as credit could vouch, dog couldn't get you straight up. Tell me who's going to stop the trade, make the moves, track time, it's like a magnet. Giving them eardasms with a mellow accent, still moving the playlist with the homies like Street and Teddy, the original road shake at Shorty Get Down, good lord. Baby got them open all over town. Strictly biz, you don't play around, cover much ground, got game by the pound. Getting paid is a forte, each and every day, true play away. Can't get out of my mind, oh wow, think about the girl all the time. I like the way you work it, no diggity, gotta bag it up, baby. I like the way you work it, no diggity, gotta bag it up. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Gotta bag it up, baby. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Gotta bag it up. We out. Oh, the fun to come. So, uh, you'll want to stay tuned till the end because I'm going to stick a song in there somewhere and you're not going to want to miss out on that. And you're not going to miss out on one of us. Yeah, miss out on the content because it's it's uncomfortable and cringy. And fellas, I know you want to hear it. The cicadas are going crazy again. And here's the wild thing that hit me. So I was in um, <laughs> I was in Newport, Oregon with the wrong person in Crater Lake um, a little bit before that around September, October of 2012. And I think I was supposed to have been here the whole time. I kept I was at the ocean and we moved around and it's like something very restless inside of me like this isn't, I wasn't home. Now, you can believe or not, or disbelieve in esoteric stuff, but I almost got on a plane the other day, and I think it's because I was having a vision. I'm not saying what that is because it's a personal part, but uh, that's part of why I found myself at an airport parking lot and having a panic attack and thinking I was crazy, but come to find out. The beach is here. A lot of stuff that I've been thinking about and manifesting is already here that I'm already seeing. Butterflies keep landing on me. I'm not chasing them anymore. They're chasing me. And I'm just sitting in the Colorado River. But on the ground. And it's really nice. secluded spot. And cicadas it's just crazy but that's part of it too cyclical cicadas I'm not sure what it is in Texas but I know that in different parts of the country they have different cycles they live on and as I close stages one by one shut doors to the person that I had been and allowed myself to believe in the person that I was imagining I think that um kind of here and I'm a little dumbfounded. I've got my stuff back there, my guitar, and it's just following the, the 
self-love challenge. You know, I've <laughs> I've been in charge of that for my entire life. Uh, but I guess I, I <laughs> not as sweet as I thought that I was. <laughs> Full of <laughs> But I kept getting, all right, you need to do this, you need to do this, teach them. Okay, I don't really know what it means, but I will. I'll go, go to the water, because that's what I've been getting all day. I had to leave earlier to, you know, to finish, I'll do this fish jumping, uh, to finish uh, what I had committed to, the part of Aaron Dowdy's 21 day magnetic love challenge. And, uh, sexual polarity thing today. That was very interesting for me and I think other people as well. It was uh, revealing for myself remembering, huh, okay, I, I know a lot more about this than I remember. I have read books about this. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but that was, geez, and when you're, when you're in crappy relationship, after crappy relationship, and when you're only been with three people, yeah, you take personal responsibility for your own um, <clears throat> happy. So apparently I, I had been getting a lot of things right with the vagus nerve beyond just meditation. Um, that's not bragging or anything. It's just I resonated a lot with what Jocelyn was saying. Like, holy shit, okay. You have to take in all the colors and the, the tension and the weight, ladies and gentlemen, is far better than the other the other way. I'm just gonna say it like that. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed, but Source or God, whoever you want to say, says to record, and I do. And it doesn't always make sense at the time, but as I'm editing and as I'm just following and like, all right, where do I need to go next? And it's one decision at a time. It's not, I have an itinerary. Well, I have an itinerary, but that gets mucked up, so why have such a long fucking itinerary and keep myself in such a, a boxed in place? Because I wouldn't have come to Texas if I had been in that state of mind, and I wouldn't have met the people that I have, and I wouldn't see my life manifesting and unfolding the way that it is. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to leave it a little vague there, because gotta build that mystery. That's part of it, though, is you have to build that mystery, you know? You have to be patient. Little patience. Ah, from the Guns N' Roses. I can't remember it right now, so it's just really beautiful and peaceful here. Nobody else really around. My legs needed the sun like crazy. Just, oh, don't, don't float away shoes. But, just, Ah. I guess women have a particular uh, affinity like we have to we have to because of the status and you guys do I hate what guys have to go through but we have to learn how to please ourselves um, and just there's a big well, it's, I'm gonna say it it's like a big orgasm inequality thing there but yeah I've had the kind that Jocelyn's talking about and um, it sucks that society has molded you guys for that. It's, it's bothered me for a long time. Like, a long time I raged at the idea of what was it? that society had made it so you guys didn't, weren't able to express yourselves. And that wasn't either. Just given, I mean, I, I was a tomboy, you know? I had a cousin tell me that I look like a boy. Do I look like a boy, fellas? I don't think so. I don't see that. But Jamie did. And she said that to me, and I'm pretty sure her mama said that to her. So that's on both of them, and I forgive them and everything. But it happened, and I remember it. I remember it very clearly. So I didn't go back to the pool for so long, and I loved swimming. I loved it. And I played with the boys, and I learned a lot of the boy stuff, like like cars and I went hunting with my dad and fishing that, that would be really cool to do here my uncle uh, goes fishing in Montana sometimes or he used to like yearly I uh, go fly fishing in Montana which also I, I've learned to do my dad taught me a lot of things he was a really nurturing person and I really respect that um taught me to taught me a lot taught me a lot even in his 
want by suicide and other people have taught me a lot too and that's another reason I'm here to honor that that's why I start um, mentioning you guys in the comments or not in my what I'm writing and what I'm speaking about because it it has been that impactful I mean just two months ago I was living in North Carolina in an abusive relationship I ran to Texas to the place I should have been a long time ago that I wanted to go and that's kind of incredible so I should be able to give people credit for that so I will at least if you don't want me to love yourselves and realize that life's a lot more simple when you let it flow kind of like the river is right now your fish jumping and it's just really nice just let it flow be a little more alan watts on love i mean that sounds crazy right but hey i've seen a lot of crazy shit and manifesting a beach in the middle of the desert that's that's one of them because I didn't I I mean I know geography and I'm a smart chick but I, I wasn't thinking that not at all I'm playing with rocks I keep picking them up but I brought one to put back okay <laughs> but yeah it's just enjoying all the colors god I didn't see the colors for so long just becoming exactly who you want to be and that can be a very quick process <laughs> I know I've paid my dues I paid my dues to the universe through trauma and I know that I made arrangements with certain people to be here and to come into my life and uh, a dude named Gary uh, at a guitar shop nearby uh, reminded me of that told me about the way he met his wife that is a sweet story they've been married for 34 years and the first time they met <laughs> Like, she, she had fallen and broken her ankle, and he's like, what a dumbass, like, he's in the Navy, and she was too, and then, like, eight months later, uh, I, he was out at Pizza Hut or something like that, and she invited him to sit down, and she remembered exactly who he was, <laughs> but it just, it flowed that way, you know, and just talking to, I mean, that, the experiences with people, just being around them and talking to them and just being brave being brave and there are some things that are still very terrifying for me right now and I'm doing my best to meet those and um, I just really wanted some water today <laughs> so I've been taking myself on dates and this is what one of them looks like saw kayaks and um, different things coming in and I think that's gonna be a part of it too and I can do that by myself or I could do that with someone else so I'll leave that out there enjoy the water enjoy the day enjoy yourself you know you can't you have to know what you want and what you like in order to attract that and apparently I know a hell of a lot more than I thought so hello <laughs> but I thank you guys for listening and I ask that you hit the like or and subscribe button leave me a comment what you think about magnetic love challenge or you know what you do for self-love and self-care um, when you leave comments and like and share and subscribe it helps small businesses and that's me I'm a small business owner and it, this is like mo the third or fourth inception of different ideas but this is the one that I was supposed to be on because I listened I listened for this one I put everything else aside the jewelry making that I, I love doing that and I hang on to some of it but that wasn't the important thing the important thing was getting me out of my comfortable little box that I was in of trauma, trauma soup, living in that, and ministering to people. Ministering to people in a homeless shelter. And I'm happy. I'm happy, baby. So, I mean, you can be happy anywhere. Your day can turn into your own Dungeons and Dragons adventure. I promise you. You just have to believe you'll see it when you believe it. So, thanks kiddos. Like and subscribe. Love you guys so much. I'm going to keep creating this content for you, so, ooh, ooh,
fishy bite me. So, <laughs> seriously. So, all right, if you would um, let me know what you think. Good or bad, hey, I invite that. You can, I, I can take criticism. <laughs> I have my whole life, and sometimes I just say, fuck it. So, the fish are jumping. But anyhow, um, love you guys. Bye. Wondering, Wayne Dyer had such a big impact on my life, and I remember him talking about his daughter, where animals just came up to her, and that, that was me when I was a kid, and it's happening again. Um, butterflies and other animals, they just come up to me, they're not afraid. I stop chasing them and they follow me. Um, I don't know how or why, and I don't have to, it's just really fucking cool. Angels waiting up and down the boulevard, their shadows searching in the night. Street light people living just to find emotion, hiding somewhere in the night. <clears throat> I wear a disguise, I'm just your average Jane A super dustpan for model, but that doesn't mean I'm plain If all you see is how I look, you miss the super chick within And I christen you Titanic, underestimated swim I got the right stuff, gonna be myself I got the right stuff, gonna be myself I got the right stuff, gonna be myself I've got the right stuff, gonna be myself And I'll be everything Seriously, hook a sister up a like hit the like and subscribe and leave me a comment let me know um what your your habits are for self-love and self-care and um on to the next uh, at the library right now so uh they close in about a half hour i'm trying to get this done because this this one held pref held pref fuck this one held precedence over the other videos that i uh, have like two other ones that i've been working on Apparently the universe said no. No, this one. This one right now, Jen. So, I love you guys very much. Thanks.